Hey, and welcome back to the 31 Days of Tarot Challenge. I'm Allie. I haven't introduced myself in a long time, I think since video number one, but I'm Allie. I'm also known as the Tarot Fairy on Facebook, if you follow me there. Um, okay, so 31 Days of Tarot, it's day 17, and today's prompt is show us your tarot journal. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to, I don't know, just, I don't know, <laughs> make people run away screaming when I show them my, my system. It's pretty, um, there is no system. Let's just say that. I have no system. I'm all over the map, like quite literally. I will do my best to try to explain any rational reason or ritual that I have with my journal. <laughs> <laughs> but I think a lot of people are going to be like either glad that they're not the only one <laughs> or like <"Ee." laughs> a little um yeah appalled at what I do okay so where should I start okay um first I got the um the 2017 Tarot Planner from Biddy Tarot. Okay, so this isn't exactly a tarot journal, but it kind of is because it has like, um, there are things that you can do either daily, at least on a monthly basis, um, but also there's a full moon um, calendar in here so you could incorporate some rituals with that there's room for that um it's mostly just to like help you stay on track so you do a reading every quarter every month and follow up with another reading later on to make sure that you're still on the same path um, it's just kind of a great system for checking in and following up on your readings so i'm so far i'm really really liking it i'm you know we're only um part way into january but um yeah, so I did the New Year's reading. So that was that was to start off the year. And then um, I did the January reading. So um, my goals, it was a reading for my goals for the month of January with some advice and things I could focus. And then, um, or sorry, the goals were for the quarter. So January, February, and March. And there'll be a follow-up one in February to make sure that things are on track. And um, and then there was a January reading, which was only three cards. Um, so those three cards, I can talk a little bit about that because that might be quick. Um, yeah, but in summary, um, it looks like it's going to be a very busy month for me. Um, I have a lot of work ahead of me and a lot of social obligations. And that showed up in my three card reading saying like, look, remember what it is you want to achieve, kind of reminding me that I don't want to achieve high stress levels. That's not what I want to do. So to remember to keep everything in balance, um, that when things get overwhelming, just remember that there is maintenance to do. That was kind of what I got out of the reading that um, it's not just about reaching your destination at any cost. It's about maintaining a steady pace and checking in with yourself and making sure that um, you're getting there. And when you get there, you're going to be able to enjoy it because you aren't in the hospital with bad health or something, <laughs> or you haven't lost all your friends along the way because you never spend any time with them, something like that. So there's maintenance. That's what I got. Just there's maintenance to do. It's not just about rushing to the finish line. Um, Okay, so that was, that's my tarot planner, which, like I said, I'm enjoying a lot. Um, many, I brought this out just for this video. This was my tarot journal um, back when I first started learning tarot. So I was probably 16, 17 when I started this, and I still have it. Um, it wasn't so much a journal as in daily readings, but more as like a resource, like a book that I was writing that, um, learning the tarot meanings. 
And so the pages are all in black. I wrote it all in gel pen. Um, each suit has its own color gel pen. So that was eons and eons and eons ago, but I still ca I kept it. I still have it. I haven't opened it in over a decade probably, but I still have it. It's there if I ever want to turn to it. Um, okay, my other system I have is my phone. <laughs> so I have a few tarot apps on my phone. And one I like the best is actually the Tarot of the Hidden Realm. Um, I have a few, but this one, I got this one, and I will recommend this to other people. Like, if you're one of those people that isn't sure about a deck, because every deck is about $30 to $40 um, average. So if you're not sure you want to put out the money for it, I recommend going to your app store and seeing if there's an app for it because the apps are only like usually five bucks so for five dollars you can download the app you can see the, all the cards um, and see if you like it and so tarot of the hidden realm um i use this app as my kind of daily card because when i wake up in the morning i can just reach over and grab my phone and then hit a few buttons and draw a daily card. And so the app is designed to remember your card. So if you want to reference it throughout the day, what was my card again? It keeps your card um, for the rest of the day. And then it also has a journal section. So it keeps a journal of every card and every reading that you do. It dates it and time stamps it um, and then lists the card. And if you want to add notes, there's a section for that. You can add notes. So uh, yeah, that's sort of a journaling system I use. I don't write, I don't add notes every day. I draw cards almost every day using this app. Um, but I don't write every day. I was trying to get in the habit of that, but it just doesn't always happen. Um, but yeah, I write occasionally. I add little notes about, oh yeah, that card made sense because this happened today. Um, I just find this app really, really, really well done. I know I'm getting kind of off topic, but um, I have to add it because it is one of the journaling systems I use. So um, there you go. Use use your tarot apps. Um, another journaling system I use, I have an Evernote account and I use Evernote. So I use that for a lot of things. I use that for um, writing scripts for videos. Um, I use it for taking business planning notes for um, any ideas I have because I can log in and reference that from any computer, <laughs> even my phone. I can log in and access all those files from my phone. Um, when I'm doing any kind of study, I use Evernote because I can type a lot faster. So if I want to do quick type notes that I want to keep and be able to access from anywhere, I will use Evernote. So I was using that for my Dreams of Gaia study because I was it's a deck I have to learn. Um, and yeah, I found I was using it, especially for the, the PIP cards, the numbers. I was kind of look, doing comparisons, um, looking for patterns. And um, yeah, and also, I don't know, I could go on and on and on. <laughs> I have so many pages and so many subjects, but I use Evernote. Um, so yeah, I love I love Evernote for um, coming up with business ideas and plans and for doing a lot of my tarot studies. Um, the last journaling system I have is I always have a notebook with me. Um, this one was one of the images that I created. This is my own artwork. Um, I sell these on a variety of products and including notebooks. I can add the link below. They're available through Redbubble. Um, but this is one of the ones that I did. This is my, my muse, my snail fairy that I drew. Um, so I got her because my other notebook got fail, full, so I needed a new one. And so I bought one of my own. <laughs> 
Okay, and so this, to be fair, isn't just a tarot journal. This is I use for any time I need to scribble anything of any kind, and I need a pen and paper handy. So I have this, carry this around with me um, wherever I go, and when I feel like writing it on paper rather than typing it, this is what I this is what I write in. So it has everything from grocery shopping lists to, um, to, you know, supplies that I have to order, to phone numbers and contacts, but I also do a little bit of tarot journaling as well. Um, I, you know, recently did some deck interviews, and so I just wrote some quick notes in my, um, my notebook. I, I mean, I could always transfer those to my Evernote journal because then it's there, but I don't know. I probably won't. <laughs> I probably won't. Um, but I mean, I, I kind of have a good idea of what's in here. It's just a matter of flipping through the pages. Oh yeah, I remember doing those journals or I remember planning out my day or I remember making some kind of list of some kind. This is where I do it. So yeah, so it's not really all that organized or methodical. It's just kind of whatever I feel at the time, on a whim, um, whatever's handy. Um, that's my system. <laughs> I have notes everywhere, but I always know where they are. So it's never, I, I don't know, it works for me. Um, that's my crazy system. So yeah, now you know a little bit about my obsession with note taking and list making and yeah all right so that wraps up day 17 i've shown you a little bit about my tarot and journaling um what about you <laughs> uh are you anything like me or do you have an entirely new uh, different better system what what do you do do you even take notes at all or do you use it all up here? Let me know in the comments and I will see you tomorrow for day number 18 of the 31 Days of Tarot.